What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Sarah. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all have are having an amazing week so far. I'm just gonna dive in and just see what few messages come out for you. Uh, <laughs> bear with me a second. She ain't even sleep. All right, so let's see what's going on. Overall energy for Scorpio. All right, overall energy for my Scorpio. warm in here overall energy for scorpio please spirit what's the overall energy oh. overall energy for scorpio please spirit all right you got the six chakra arc archangel metatron is what you have and man holding a coin at the bottom of the deck number 43 and number 44 could be significant this week with the number seven so let's read this here Six chakra this is your third eye Scorpio this is about your third eye okay clarity of thought personal vision this very powerful Archangel Metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow chakra a third eye which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought when this card appears upright it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and an expanded perspective toward broader horizons some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning for you or on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why. Okay, so now it's the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? Create a clear picture of that and support it with your, di with your daily thoughts. The insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you now. Okay, so that's beautiful. Scorpio, one second. <laughs> If y'all hear the noise in the background, that's, I'm sorry, that's Ari. Okay, that's Snow. She back there showing out. She's showing out. All right, she's supposed to be asleep, but she's still up. Mm -hmm. So, oh, what's the affirmation? Affirmation is, my six chakra is open to its perfect, healthy state. My personal vision guides me, and my thoughts are peaceful and clear. Okay, so this is about seeing clearly. Seeing the future ahead, seeing what it is that you want. Seeing where it is that you want to invest. This could be somebody seeing you as well. If you're a feminine energy... We're picking up on a masculine energy. So this could be a masculine or this could be you. Okay. You could be a female in masculine energy as well. That's about control. Uh, that's about, um, you know, emperor status, you know, doing things to take control of their life, to create stability. You know, this could have to do with, you know, maybe a business or a relationship or where you're wanting to plant your seed, where you're wanting to start your new beginning, whether this is moving, relocating, building a house, anything like that. What's the sixth chakra? We have trust and indecision. So I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly and indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So basically what's going on is you may not be able to see, maybe you couldn't see clearly. I'm sorry, y'all, that's her. Maybe you don't have, maybe you can't see it uh, in the three-dimensional. Like maybe it isn't in front of you yet, but you can see it with your third eye. Like this is how I want to see my life. You know how you kind of have like a vision of your life and that's what you see? It's like it's kind of in the dream state still, right? Like you can see it coming, but it's not actually happening in the physical just yet. So that could be what's going on. So you're kind of like, Spirit is asking you to have trust in your intuition, have faith. You know, this is that walk by faith, not by sight energy. But whatever's going on, hold on, just a second, y'all. Sorry about that. One second, y'all. I'm sorry. Told y'all she is wide awake. She ain't even trying to go to sleep. Look at her. It's supposed to be in that sleep. Ben, Ben, done fell asleep and she's still up. This is crazy. Anyway, so with this energy here, like you, it, yeah, forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. There could be a situation maybe you haven't forgiven someone, or maybe you need to ask for forgiveness or forgive yourself. You know, maybe you couldn't see something clearly and you just kind of went with it, you know, thinking that it was your intuition. It may not have been your intuition. Maybe you weren't seeing clearly or seeing from your higher self what was going on in the situation. And you kind of just walked blindly into it. You know, this could be like a bad investment. You know, maybe you didn't know how it was going to turn out or, you know, something like that. Okay. Maybe you, you kind of wish like, you know. This, this is giving me walk by faith, not by sight type of energy. So let's see. That's what I'm getting here. I show sure wish you go to sleep. Now, what's going on with my Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? 
nine of swords so somebody could be stressing out at this time or somebody could have you know maybe they feel unhappy right now maybe they're stuck in this negative mindset you know thinking things more negatively and that could really impact your intuition especially when it comes to like fear and anxiety you may not be thinking clearly so you could make some um decisions that may not be from your highest good out of fear you know based out of fear let's see what's going on with scorpio what's going on with scorpio please Spirit? two more cards what's going on with scorpio bottom of the deck hermit so some of y'all could be in isolation we have the ace of cups wow and the six of wands so again maybe you were indecisive about a situation because there's a lot of fear or uh, maybe you're just like okay I need to trust this because I can't really see I need to trust my intuition because I can't really see what's going to come of this it's like walking you know walking forward you know moving forward but you don't know what's up ahead you know you don't know if you're going to have to make a left turn right turn or keep going forward but you're trusting and you're having faith that you're being guided to to where you're supposed to be you know of course if you're afraid that's going to make you coward that's going to make you want to you know second question yourself like am, am, am i doing the right thing am i you know but with this ace of cups and six of wands i see a new beginning i see a new beginning in love this could be happiness this could be joy coming in here and then uh six of, i just heard i just heard the the cry of a baby so some of y'all could be finding out you're pregnant so congratulations on that or maybe you're talking about children or talking about something about children <laughs> okay but Six of Wands, I see victory. I see success, you know. Maybe somebody is unsure if this is going to be victorious. And somebody could be stressing about that. Like, should I take this leap? Somebody could be, like, torn in between two worlds or two situations or two relationships. Or there's two different paths that you get to choose to go on. And Spirit is telling you to listen to your higher self. Maybe you need to, you know, go within, do some soul searching with the hermit energy here. Take some time to yourself and really gain that enlightenment. You know, meditate, pray on it. That type of energy because I feel like somebody wants this victory, wants this new beginning, but um, but somebody could be allowing fear or you know guilt or regret to hold them back from this. Okay, but it's like somebody wants to plant new seeds here. That's definitely what somebody wants to do. They want to plant new seeds. They want this new beginning, um, but there could be some fear that's holding somebody back. So let's see. I just seen the pregnancy card. Did I see that? I just seen the pre look pregnancy. Yeah, somebody could somebody could be discussing about a child or having a baby or wanting to try having a baby or this could just be again a new beginning. Okay, this is growth, fertility, expansion. What's that nine of swords? Why is somebody stressing? And this could be you or this could be somebody else coming towards you, Scorpio. What's the nine of swords? Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. So somebody feels like, you know, divorce. Uh, okay, so everything, experiencing a breakup. So this could be going through something. Like you're going through a hard time, a difficult time. So you can't really understand what's happening right now because, you know, you're maybe you're anxious or maybe you're stressed. You know, you got a lot going on. And there could be an opportunity coming in. You may not be able to see it clearly because you got all of this going on, right? And so you may feel like um, some of y'all fear is um, blocking your intuition, Some of y'all, y'all have had like bad experiences and relationships and things like that. So you feel like you can't trust, you you don't know how to trust your intuition or trust yourself that you're being guided correctly. Um, maybe you've had like bad relationships and like you feel like you're you're not you're. I'm hearing I'm bad in love. Ooh ooh. <laughs> so maybe you feel like that. What's the Ace of Cups? Spy. Yeah. Someone's got their eye on you or you're doing your research. So you could be like literally researching somebody right now with this Ace of Cups in this new beginning. Let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. Spirit is saying let go. The Spirit is saying let go. Maybe you're looking too much into a situation instead of letting it play out. Six of Wands. I have a vacation energy. It says you will be traveling soon. Some of y'all, yeah, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all could be, oh my gosh, now I'm hearing, hey, let's get away. Let's get a room on the other side of town. So some of y'all could be doing like a little vacation or like a getaway. It's going to be victorious. Somebody wants like some, somebody want, I just heard PDA. Somebody wants like, somebody wants to like show you off, take you out, 
like um like treat you like ah it's kind of like it's giving me like arm candy energy but i, I feel like it's like in a good way because the ace of cups is here like somebody but somebody could be like a hermit or an introvert maybe somebody don't trust it or they don't um was that a fly jesus somebody don't trust it or like somebody isn't as comfortable but somebody wants to take somebody out or like get somebody out of out of the house you know give them a little attention some somebody also wants like attention or they like attention or they want to give somebody attention or give you attention something like that somebody could be like looking into a situation a lot though let's see oh uh -huh. don't don't do that baby you're gonna hit your back you're gonna hit your back mama let's see let me get a little more on here before i close this out I'm trying to finish this up all right, what's the nine of swords with the intuition card? Nine of swords with the intuition. Ooh, true gem. Yeah, valuable quality and jewelry. So somebody feels like, now I'm hearing, it's too good to be true. Can't keep my eyes off of you. Whatever they say, hands off of you, whatever. Okay, long distance, foreign themes, distance. Somebody could be distant or maybe y'all live at a distance from each other. But for some of y'all, it's like somebody is staying distance because they feel like they can't trust their intuition. Like this is like, Say you already been in a whole bunch of bad relationships. You know, went through a divorce before. You know, went through a breakup before. And you're just like, yeah, I don't know. Relationships just ain't been my thing. And so you may not feel like you can trust yourself. But it's like there's a, a, a opportunity here. Somebody's trying to find out, like, is this is this real? Is this true? Ice King, look, boss, entrepreneur, detached, mature woman, energy says socialite connector high society somebody's like is this is this person maybe you have like a lot of options or like you can be very popular or you can have like a high status in some sort of way okay okay hold on where'd your binky go maybe you have like a high status you can be very recognized very known <laughs> sorry y'all girl you're gonna hit your head let's see let me finish this reading up and then once she goes to sleep i do the other readings all right what's the ace of cups i thought you were going to sleep ma'am what's the ace of cups for scorpio clarify the ace of cups for scorpio communication texting phone calls and online so somebody wants to communicate they want to get to know you like they want to get to know you they want to message you they want to conversate gift surprise like somebody could be like waiting to hear from you or like somebody feels like it's a blessing to hear from hear from you or you could be receiving some sort of communication that's actually like a blessing or a gift and it could come through text or uh, com uh some sort of communication what's the six of wands this could be like an email text or something like that what's six of wands for scorpio Six of Wands is Ice King, Boss, Entrepreneur, Detached, and Wildflower, Limited Potential, Shy Withholding. So yeah, somebody could want to like take you out. This person could be very logical, very analytical though. This person could also be like focused on work or somebody wants to take, get you like off, like you could be really focused on work or focused on stability and things like that. You know, maybe you're in the public eye for some of y'all. But somebody wants to like ask you out, but they feel like they're limited on what they can do because you because of your status. What mature woman, socialite, connector, had society came out again. Control, yeah, it's like releasing, taking back power, kinking the bedroom. Maybe you're you're like you like to be in control of yourself now, or you somebody sees you how you can how like you taking back your power and how you've like something about you being in control, like. Somebody feels like you're very, like you're high status, like you're high quality, like you're not reachable, like not anybody could just re come and talk to you. Dating, yeah, whining, dining, romance. Somebody may feel like you're very kinky in the bedroom too. Oh gosh. Um, somebody could be kind of obsessed with you too, like they could watch you online and stuff. Or this person is obsessed with wanting to date you or take you out. Like somebody really wants to take you out, like, you know, get you to socialize and things like that. Okay. So, 
right. Well, I'm going to leave it there on this one here. Let me get her to bed, and then I'll try to do another reading. But this is what I have for you. I hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.